what has two thumbs and is an ex-vegan? This guy. That's right, a couple months ago, I, I stopped being a vegan. It had been five and a half years of being a vegan, seven years of being vegetarian, and I started eating eggs, I started eating some cheese, and I started eating some fish. Now, the whole reason I had become a vegan is because I had diazodrotic dys eczema, little blisters that would form my hand, and then it spread, and it was miserable, and also I had sinus and allergies. But I will say that all those years that I was a vegan, I always knew that it wasn't that all animal products were causing all my severe allergies and sinus and my diazotronic eczema. I always knew that it wasn't all animal products. I always knew that if I, knew, if I only knew which ones were causing the problems, I could base my lifestyle off of that. But for me, for all those years, it was just easier to just throw a blanket on it and say, you know what, I'm only gonna be a vegan and that's all I'm gonna do. So, in the transition though, I began experimenting with eating eggs, cheese, and fish. And what I learned is, as far as dairy goes, as long as I don't drink it, I'm fine. It, eating cheese doesn't seem to affect me. It seems to be okay. I'm still drinking almond milk. Um, as far as me having uh, fish though, that's a different story. And by the way, eggs seems to be fine. That doesn't seem to affect me at all. But the fish, I definitely, what's funny is I gravitated towards the fish that I always liked, and that was tuna. And I realized pretty quickly the diacidrotic eczema started coming back after I ate it. And I love tuna so much. But I think looking back, I realized that so much of the problem before I was a vegan is that I've always eaten tuna, especially since college, because it's cheap and it's easy to have access to. And I love it. I've always loved tuna. It's great. But... Tuna, even though it isn't necessarily a bottom feeder fish, even though it wouldn't prevent me from re remaining kosher, the problem with tuna is that it's basically a sponge for mercury. And for me, my diastrogenic eczema, uh, it breaks out even worse when I have any access to metals. So like shellfish, I learned a long time ago that I can't have shellfish because of the nickel, like in scallops and shrimp, that sort of thing. But Tuna has a high concentration of mercury. I guess they're these big old fish and they're full of mercury and that was causing my skin to break out. So as much as I love tuna, I realized, hey, if I'm gonna stop being vegan eat fish and be a kosher vegetarian or kosher pescatarian, then I cannot have, uh, I can have tuna. So no tuna. I also learned I cannot have tilapia. It's a bottom feeder fish, often farm raised, dirty fish, can't have it. Catfish, I accidentally ate some, not knowing it was catfish. I had some fish tacos. Can't have that. So remaining kosher and staying away from the farm-raised uh, animals that are or fish that are being fed food that they wouldn't naturally eat. And then salmon can go either way. I love salmon, but I have to stick with the wild caught. If, if not, the reason for my consciousness, because if it's not wild caught and it's instead farm raised it's great it's great salmon and there's an episode of adam ruins everything that talks about this adam ruins food i think or adam ruins restaurants that salmon when it's fed unnatural things turns gray and so they add red food dye to make it pink so just the thought of that sounds disgusting so i'm doing my best to stick with wild caught it didn't cause any kind of reaction on my skin but if i'm going to eat salmon i'd rather know that it, it's the natural kind so that's what I've discovered so far. Cod, totally can handle cod. It's, it's a cold order fish. It's hard to really mess that up. Cod, I can totally get away with. And mahi-mahi hasn't been a problem either. So those are things that I've learned so far. I'm still experimenting. But if you have anything to add to that as far as you being an ex-vegan and you're starting to eat fish, become a pescatarian or, or even a vegetarian and you eat fish, let me know what you've learned because I'm on this journey, I'm only a few months out from, from crossing that line from vegan to kosher pescatarian. Teach me what I don't know, and hopefully maybe I've taught you something. Comments belong right here.